the cane. Money in the safe, so lock it. Catch these hands, don't drop it. Chops up from my pocket. VVS time is that rocket. What's up with it, man? It's time to talk Road to Glory. Hey, we are so close to the game dropping. I'm trying to make sure that y'all got all the information that you need to make decisions when you first start that help you have so much fun playing this game. Shout out to all the creators that got it early and the celebs that gave us a, a sneak peek on the game. It looks incredible, y'all. Super, super dope. Like, I'm so excited to get my hands on this game. I cannot wait to play. And so we're going to hop in today. We're talking about the best places to go for your running back and road to glory. And as you know, running back is a super important position. It's one of those positions where it's like you could be game changing. We saw with Michigan this year uh, for the national championship, their running backs broke that game open. And so how do you go and become that? We're going to jump into it and we're going to talk through where you should go depending on what star you pick and all of those things, right? So let's jump into it. All right, on your screen, so you see, I'll scroll, let me scroll a little bit so you can see. So we got underdog recruit, that's the two star, contributor recruit, three star, blue chip four, elite five, okay? So we're gonna start with where you go as an underdog, and we'll work our way up, okay? Um, as an underdog recruit, that means you're a two-star. That means you're the lowest overall possible, and you got to go to a place where you can find success, right? So the first place I'm going to put is Alabama. And that might seem weird because it's like, why would you go to Alabama? You're not going to play whatever. You're not going to play right away as a two-star, which is fine, but – the thing, the reason I said Alabama is they are run, they're run heavy offense, um, especially with uh, Milrow being, uh, Milrow will probably be gone by the time you play. So your first year, you won't play a lot. You'll get better, you'll improve. And by, by your second year, you should be ready to contribute. They're going to have an amazing offensive line and you're going to get touches. And because of both, you're going to, and they're going to have opportunities for brand deals and all the other like things around you that can give you the boost to improve better. I'm sure their coach will have some kind of ability because he just played a national championship. So it's like uh, you will have a chance at Bama as a two star to play. Now, it is kind of iffy because they are recruiting other five stars. And so that part I'm not sure with. But when I thought about it, I'm like Bama's a good ideal because of all the other things that kind of go into it. You're going to get a good quarterback play, good receiver play, good offensive line. you got to go, just got to come in and figure out how to contribute. And I think you can do that even as a two-star. So the next phase is Oklahoma State. And, yes, they do have a, a Heisman hopeful as, that's playing this year, but he'll be gone. And so the idea behind it is, like, again, you come in as a two-star, you, you find your feet, um, you figure it out, you get better, you get better, you get better. And then when Ollie Gordon goes to the league, you can step in and be able to play. And so uh, I showed it as another place where you know they're going to run the football. They have, uh, they're going to have opportunities for you to really, the offense is centered around running. And so when you get your chance, you're going to get your touches. And then the next one, I wanted to include at least one group of five school in this underdog because I think a lot of underdogs want, want to go, you're going to go to a group of five so you can play quicker. And so I picked New Mexico State. I think they're, they're a program that is kind of on the rise. And they're, they were top 15 in rushing last year. And so it gives you an opportunity to go to a program where you don't have to play against all the crazy defenses that you would have to play in the SEC or the Big Ten or, you know, and so you play against a group of five defenses as a two-star. You're going to see some uh, teams where you might be even with them, even as a freshman. And so that gives you a chance to really come in and to make an impact earlier than you would if you go to one of the power five schools as a two-star. OK, so now moving on to the three-star. These are the contributors. A little better in ratings, um, not necessarily – life-changing ratings, but we're better than underdog. And so my first one is Liberty. I think I went group of five first for this one. And the reason I went group of five first for this one, I think you're much more prepared to step into a starting role 
as a three star than you are as a two star. And so going to a group of five school gives you a chance to play as a freshman. Um, and Liberty is was the number one rushing offense in, in, in the country last year. So as a freshman, you step into an offense where they run, run, run Rudolph, and you're, you are right there fighting for spots. Uh, I was watching some guys play today, and position battles didn't look very difficult. So I'm saying you go to Liberty as a three-star, probably about week four or five, you got a chance to be getting – Starting running back touches in the number one rushing offense in the country, you can't you can't beat that, right? And so that's gonna give you a chance to keep getting better as well, right? And so I think Liberty's a great choice as a contributor. My next spot is I'm gonna go North Carolina, and the reason I'm going North Carolina is one, I think it would be kind of fun to wear number 23 in North Carolina because I think that's just cool. I like basketball. I mean, you might not agree. I think that'd be dope. The jerseys are cool, and they're a top 20 rushing offense, so you are going to run the football a lot. They are um, kind of – they are in the, AC, in the ACC, so you're going to get some really good games, some opportunities to have some ratings boost and get better, like playing in big games or, and rivalry games and those kind of things. And then also I think that as a contributor, like I said, you have a chance to play. And so I, went, I wanted to go power five but not um, – a school that might have great running backs so that you don't squander your freshman year. So I feel like in North Carolina, you could have a chance to play sooner than later. And it gives you opportunity to play at a, at a higher level uh, being in a power five. And in the last school I'm going for the contributor to three star is North Texas, because North Texas is one of those places where they run the football. They were a top 30 rushing attack, but they're unique. They had two, running backs last year with over 100 carries each. And so what I think that gives you a chance is even if you're not running back one, you can still get a healthy share of touches as you develop. And so I thought they posed a unique opportunity in that. So group of five, your ratings are not as high as a blue chip or an elite, so you still want a chance to compete. And so as a group of five school, they give you a chance as a lower overall to step in and be ready to play because you're on par with competition right away. So I think that North Texas is a great idea for the contributors and your three star. Now let's move up to the four stars, the blue chip. Now we're talking about you. You could come in and really play. Um, let's go first, Boise State. All right. They got a top recruit transfer quarterback, Malachi Nelson. So you're going to play with him. I think he's a sophomore. Uh, you'll play with him basically your whole career. And they have blue turf. Is there a better place to run other than the blue turf, like as a running back? You Like you could kill all your highlights are going to be fire. Uh, and they – Run the football. They run a fun offense. You're gonna get to play. You're gonna get to play kind of out and swing. You're gonna get to do some misdirection. It's a fun offense. And did I say you get to run a blue turf? All right, enough said. Moving on to the next one. Ku, shout out to the hometown team. They run the football a ton. A top ten running team um, in the country. They do have a running back, Devin Neal, who's there and he's pretty electric. But as a four star, I think you can come in and push them, um, and even still, you'll share some of those touches right away. Uh, you will play in the Big 12. You have a chance to win a Big 12 title as a freshman, what gives you a chance to play in the college football playoff as a freshman. I think it's a good fit. Um, and they are a spread offense kind of moving, kind of kind of smash mouth spread is a hybrid kind of offense where they do have receivers kind of everywhere doing a lot of motion, but they love to tote the rock. And so I think KU gives you a chance to, to, to be successful. My last one, Air Force, they are. They were the number two rushing team in the country. They're going to run Wishbone, Maryland Eye. There's going to be three, four running backs on the field at all times. You got a chance to get touches on touches on touches and unique opportunity to break big run. And so although they use multi-back system because they have all the tosses and the options and all of those things, you're going to get chances with maybe – 10, 15 touches a game to still run for 100 plus because you are doing it. You're getting, you get misdirection. You're tricking the defense, and the holes are so big, you'll just walk through them. Um, and shout out to my cubs who played at Air Force. Um, I cannot wait to load up and beat people with Air Force like I used to in 14. All right, moving on. Um, Army, same reason as Air Force. 
Uh, you can be a top, you can be the top running back in a top rushing program. Army has never got a five star running back like you. You know what I'm saying? They never had nobody like you. They're gonna run the football every, almost every down. You are you want to run the football almost every down. You are electrifying. You are box office, and you go to Army. I think I think it'd be super dope. Just a super dope story, kind of like the football's version of David Robinson. You feel me? Like you at Army cooking um, as a five star. I love it. Moving on, SMU, Southern Methodist University, the only school to ever get the death penalty. They got a dope ESPN 30 for 30. Look it up. And I think it's I think it's poetic. They got in trouble for paying running backs to come to their school. Now that NILs are legal, you should go to their school. Like I think that's super poetic in the uh, spirit of Eric Dickerson and Dope Walker, who is the running back award is named after Dope Walker, who went to SMU. I think going to win the Dope Walker Award at SMU is poetic. Wow. I don't think it can get better than that. So they're on my list for elite recruit as a five-star. And then my last one, because I gave you three teams each, is – come on, man. USC. You might be wondering, why USC? It is for one reason only, so you can break our Reggie Bush's record. Go to USC. You got to pick elusive if you go to USC. Those are schools you can pick power or receiving back. If you go to USC, you have to pick elusive, and you have to be better than Reggie Bush and Marcus Allen, and you have to break all the records, and you have to win a national championship, put in the team on your back, okay? I think that would be super dope, um, and I think the brand deal is going to be there. Uh, you, re, you, hey, if you do, I don't know if you, I had a look in Road to Glory if you can rebuild conferences. If you can rebuild conferences, don't play in the Big two, ICC or Big Ten, whatever USC playing in. Rebuild the Pac-12, win a Pac-12 title, win a national title. Something Reggie Bush didn't get a chance to do this last year because of Vince Young. You can rewrite the history book, and you could be the one to win it all at SC as the best back in their history. Those are my 12 teams that I think you should choose if you're going to do a running back in road to glory tell me who you who you're thinking about going if you are choosing running back what team you want to run for and let me know what you think about my teams in the comments i appreciate you all and see you tomorrow man i think tomorrow i'm doing uh, wide receivers will come out and i'm be going live because the game will be out so turn them noties on subscribe if you're new and uh man i can't wait it's gonna be a fun year y'all peace